it's Jordan back with another video today I am vlogging some cookout recipes that are totally vegan and super easy and delicious it's been beautiful here in Ohio it's even been like getting kind of hot but it's been sunny and gorgeous and so I was like yes I am ready to do cookout food we're gonna get the grill out it's time and then look at the weather now raining but that's okay because I think it's just a little bit of a pop-up because it's been like coming and going all day long. It's gonna be just fine. Right, Jack? Sure. People may think about going plant-based or going vegan. You have to miss out on grilling out and cooking out because usually you're cooking meat on the grill, right? You don't have to. I'm gonna show you how to make a really, really delicious teriyaki chicken kebab that you can definitely make on the grill. And then I'm also gonna show you how to make two different sides that you could make at your cookout or they'd be perfect for bringing to somebody's house if you were going to somebody else's house for a cookout or like a potluck. I'm getting started with one of the recipes now. We're making a white bean salad. Just drained a can of white beans. These are great northern beans, but you could use any kind of white beans. Green beans, these were actually frozen. I just let them thaw a little bit. It's about a cup of green beans and some little cherry or I think these are actually grape tomatoes and I'm going to chop those I think either in half or like in four and quarters everything over here is for our dressing here's our bowl I'm gonna make the dressing in the bowl that way I don't dirty another dish and then I can just toss everything on top of the dressing and toss it together in the bowl I already have two teaspoons of water two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar one teaspoon of Dijon mustard a teaspoon of nutritional yeast, quarter of a teaspoon of dried parsley, a pinch of sea salt, and pepper. This dressing is oil free, and then we just whisk it up. So the Dijon mustard emulsifies the dressing without having to add oil. All we have to do now is toss in our ingredients. I always add a little bit more salt and pepper. I'm going to set this salad in the fridge until we are ready to eat. It does make kind of like a smaller portion, like maybe enough for four people. So if you're going to a bigger cookout, I would just double the recipe and I will put the recipe down below in the description box. Update, the sun is out. I knew it would come back out. Can you see? nice and shiny no rain <laughs> yay so cookout is still on it would have been on anyway i would have just done it like on the stove or in the oven or something now i'm going to make a pasta salad but i'm going to be using orzo and it's going to be a greek pasta but i'm going to be using these orzo noodles they're like little grains of rice and you can use gluten-free orzo if you want to. The water is boiling now. You can probably see it steaming. So I'm going to add one cup of orzo to the water. I'm gonna turn it down first. I'm gonna work on the dressing for the pasta salad. Here's everything we need. I've got two cloves of garlic chopped up, half of a lemon, some apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, tahini, and some pepper, and my salt's over there, but I am going to add salt. Just like we did before, I'm gonna add everything to this bowl that it's all gonna go in. A clove of garlic, juice from half of a lemon, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup. This just adds a nice touch of sweetness without adding refined sugar. Then we need a fourth of a cup of tahini. This is my trick. I don't measure. I just count to four slowly when I need a fourth of a cup of something. One, two, three, four. And I figure that's about a fourth of a cup. Pepper and some salt. I'm gonna whisk it up and we'll see if we need any extra liquid to thin it out. Because tahini will make it really nice and thick. It will absorb the lemon juice and the vinegar and it will actually get thicker as it sits. So we may need to add some water. Mm. 
Put it about two tablespoons of water. That is the consistency we're looking for. Now we just add everything again on top of the dressing. Because this is a Greek salad, we're adding some Greek chopped Kalamata olives. Probably about a third of a cup. About three quarters of a cup of chopped cucumber three quarters of a cup of a red bell pepper. You could also use sun-dried tomatoes or regular tomatoes, but we really like bell pepper, so I'm adding some red bell pepper. It just gives it a beautiful color. It's the base of our salad, so I'm gonna toss this together. I love adding in the orzo when it's still warm because it just absorbs the dressing so much better. It like drinks it up and every single bite tastes Incredible. Take this salad to the next level and I'm going to add some chopped scallions or green onions and some fresh basil. A trick with basil is I don't cut it, I just tear it. Sometimes basil can get that like black kind of marks on it when you cut it, it's very delicate. So you tear it and that's what the Italians do. So that's what we're doing. I literally live for the smell of fresh basil. Mm. It would not be complete without some feta cheese, but of course we're not using real feta cheese. We are using some tofu feta. I made this tofu feta earlier because it had to marinate for a while, but I'll leave the link to the recipe that I used down below. It was so super easy. This is optional. If you leave it out, it will still taste delicious. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh no, you got it. We have the grill going. Jack helped me get it going. We have a Weber grill, so it's like a charcoal grill. So you have to heat up the charcoal. So that takes about like 35 minutes. So now I'm going to prepare my skewers. So we are making some chicken pineapple teriyaki skewers. I soaked these wooden skewers for about an hour in some water so they wouldn't burn on the grill. We've got some vegan chicken strips. They thawed because they were frozen. And I'm using this brand by Morningstar, these vegan chicken strips, pineapple and some red onion. And then we've got our teriyaki sauce. And I'm using the brand Soyve. This is their low sodium teriyaki sauce. Take two pieces of vegan chicken. We just poke it through, don't poke yourself, just like that. A piece of red onion, piece of pineapple, and we just keep going. I just made three of them because it's just the two of us tonight, but obviously you can make more. Add a little bit of the teriyaki sauce. That's soy ve? Yeah. Yes, it's soy ve. <laughs> the chicken is like kind of half frozen. And so it doesn't need like direct heat. It just kind of needs to heat through. And then the onions and pineapple just need to get kind of soft. We're both speechless today. I'm speechless over this plate of good food. <laughs> so we're just going to listen to some Dave Matthews. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Enjoy our vegan cookout feast. <laughs> <laughs>
It's Spotify. It's not Dave Matthews. Oh, it's just a Spotify playlist. My bad. Is this your Spotify playlist that the you... The Tomac one. Oh. Is this your Spotify playlist that you created, or is this just random? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I told him... I made the <laughs> I told him earlier this week that he needed to... Ah. I told him earlier this week that he needed to try Spotify because he's been using Pandora. He's warming up to it, right? You're not fully sold yet. No, I mean, it, I think Spotify, it's just more custom. And Pandora, it's just you pick what radio you want to listen to and that's it. You can't customize anything on Pandora. Right. Spotify, you can customize. Exactly. You just got to put the effort in up front. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> the little things. That's right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're going to make for your Memorial Day cookout if you celebrate Memorial Day. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Like this video, and I will see you next week for another one. Don't forget the little bell thing that jingles. Oh, yeah, the bell. So if you subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified if I upload a video. Do you click the bell for people that you subscribe to? Sometimes. Sometimes, what makes you click the bell? Because they always tell you. Because they tell you to. Yeah. I'm telling you to. So comment if you clicked the bell. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye.